new game. Sleepy Waves, Chicho, during the pandemic, there was a lot of uncertainty in many industries and sectors, and hence that created a lot of opportunity to buy in and take advantage of some hidden opportunities. This half year of 2021, we are seeing the effects of inflation and everywhere uh, inflation everywhere and now even used items randomly around the house have shot up in higher value than before what are your predictions for all the inflation that will probably continue to grow um, it's going to continue to grow uh, like exactly what you said right um, supply chain might be fixed at some point but there's a lot of uh, a lot of hands in the cookie jar that they do not want this information uh not the information well information to get out that's one thing but the supply chain to be restored because they have gained a lot of power and they will be able to buy up a lot of industries on the cheap 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 right so it, and there's money uh money supply that has kicked up a lot um there's there are uh, if we're going into a multipolar world so it might be difficult to have access to certain products in the future as easily as we had access to them in the past uh, bah, 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 bah. The, there's regulations coming in so for example in Vancouver right so in Vancouver uh, the city of Vancouver was trying to pass a tax tax on the citizens and governments are coming for more taxes that's why they want to digitize all currency by the way if you live in a country that they're eliminating cash from that country and canada might be one of them at some time in the future you may want to decide to leave that country because you have lost complete anonymity and privacy which means you have lost your liberty because governments want to tax every single bit of transaction you you have in your life including paying a babysitter including paying the neighbor's kid to mow the lawn or wash your car or lemonade stand little kids that set up a little lemonade stand in front of their house they even want taxes from that right but in vancouver they were trying to pa pass a tax law and it, i don't think it passed this year but they'll try again next year right where every citizen living in vancouver would have to pay for parking okay and anybody that was buying a brand new suv from 2022 and on okay would have to pay an extra thousand dollars in taxes per year to um, get insurance on that car and an extra five hundred dollars for something else right so brand new suvs were going to be like an extra thousand dollars a year right in taxes well if i wanted to buy an suv i wouldn't buy a new one i would buy an older one so older suv prices might go up lucky for me i have an older suv that's been sitting there that i'm most likely going to get uh, fixed up and sold in the next few months for i wasn't really planning on it but because of certain situation family situation where our household family is being cut in half because of certain mandates where uh, my partner being a nurse will not no longer be able to work as a nurse uh, because the government will allow her to work as a nurse I'm most likely going to be selling the car to generate a little bit of funds to give us a little bit more buffer right so there's certain things going on it's not just specifically supply chain related it's mandate related it's centralized power trying to grab more power related it's corporations trying to screw over society and obtain more control uh related it's politics not necessarily economics right 